It was a staple of Nashville afternoons for more than a century. Up until the late 90s, a lot of people here got their afternoon newspaper delivered to the doorstep, the Nashville Banner. That's right. News Channel 5's Chris Davis joins us now to share how the longtime publication is getting a reboot. Chris. That's right, Vicki. The new iteration of the Nashville Banner may carry a legacy name and may be spearheaded by familiar faces, but how they deliver the news will take on a modern approach. Real people, true stories. In Demetria Kaladimus' office, the motto can be found all over. We deal with real people, and hopefully we tell true stories. It's the tagline for her production company, but it's also at the heart of her official return to journalism. It's like being a player on the bench who's aching to get into the game. The longtime Nashville news anchor, along with the former editor of the Nashville scene, Steve Cavendish, are launching a new publication with a modern audience in mind. We're not going to do opinion. Uh, we're not going to have an editorial board. We're not going to endorse candidates. But they owe their name to a rich chapter of Nashville's past. When you say Nashville Banner to people, they think, oh, well, that's news. The Nashville Banner served as the city's afternoon paper for 122 years until the presses came to a halt abruptly in 1998. I knew that one day there was a possibility that it might happen, but I didn't think it would be this morning when I walked in. Cavendish says they decided to raise the banner as an ode to what they want their newsroom to become. The banner was the scrappy underdog of a newsroom, uh, and they did great work. But don't look for it in the paper box. Nashville Banner will be web-based, but we will be free to everyone. There will not be a special section that's only for subscribers or only for people who donate. Uh, we really do believe that news is free. Demetria will handle the video side of things. You will see stories that may run for five, seven, eight minutes. When the new banner fully launches in 2023, they'll also become news partners with News Channel 5, meaning this familiar face will finally return to your TV. I'm just so happy that I'll be back on television from time to time and back associated with a newsroom of the highest caliber, and that's News Channel 5. However you view their content, she hopes these four words are at the center of it all. It's happening here, it's breathing here, it's living here. And um, those are the stories that really stick with me. Now, the Nashville Banner is being run as a nonprofit and has other projects in the works, too, including podcasts, and will feature some of our journalism on their platforms as well. We'll be able to share a lot more about this partnership in the weeks and months to come.